What's up everyone? This is Nick here at NJ's Bricks. I recently built the Lego Nightmare Before Christmas set and I'm here to give you my thoughts and some details on this set. Remember to like and subscribe below if you enjoyed this. I'd really appreciate it. This here is a set with just under 2,200 pieces. It comes in three main sections. You've got the hill area and the graveyard on the left, Jack's house in the middle, and the town hall um, city center building there on the right side. Of course, you can see the mare there, lock, shock, and barrel, Jack, Sally, Zero, the dog, all in attendance, Sandy Claus as well. Love some of the details here on Jack's house, those boards up top being askew, just enough to give the illusion that the whole thing is a little off kilter, even though it isn't really. The way the two roof pieces come together is claws at the top, that interlock is pretty neat. I love how they built the staircase there out of the tiles to give the illusion of it being a lot longer than it really is, because it would be ridiculous to build to scale exactly as the movie. Interior on Jack's house here, we see some of his Christmas trinkets, some cookies for Santa Claus, uh... Jack in his Sandy Claus outfit there and of course the whiteboard over here with his plans for how he's going to bring Christmas to life in Halloween Town. Few stickered elements in this set but really not too many overall and they are very fun stickers at that. This is a Christmas tree in the bottom of Jack's house here. I want to point this out just because I thought this was a really neat usage of that green flower piece there used upside down to make this Christmas tree at this little scale. Thought that was a good use. Some nice printed towels here on the front of the town hall with the uh, the Days Till Xmas countdown and the clock there. A very, very cool printed banner piece up there, the black and orange pumpkin bit. Love that. Cool build on this uh, gargoyle statue here, this kind of dragon fountain. And, of course, you see the mare there. You're going to be able to see detailed videos of all of these minifigures at the end of these photographs. And I'll give you my thoughts on the minis as well. There you see the interior of the town hall building. Pretty boring, not very exciting in there. But some Easter eggs underneath it if you remove the building here. A skeleton down there looking like he's ready to feast with a Christmas wreath and some other trinkets as well. Up here, this is the top of the town hall building. Similar kind of Easter egg details. If you remove the roof pieces, you'll see some of these Christmas gifts, a stocking, a little spider. Here on the left side of the build, we have the graveyard with Zero and his doghouse down there. And then this hill against that giant moon backdrop, the classic cover of the film. Brought to life really well in this scale, I might add. Just enough wonkiness there to be believable. A little different from the original fan build that showed up on the Lego Ideas, but more practical. And then here's Zero, uh, I'll mention it later, but one of the best custom molded animal pieces I've ever seen from Lego. Very impressed with Zero. And of course, Jack and Sally with some nice detailing in their printing as well. All in all, I was really pleased with this set. I built it with my girlfriend and her son, and it comes with three separate instruction booklets for the three main portions, which made that a really easy and fun time. Displays well on my end piece here, and I really like this set. If you like this content, please like and subscribe below and check out these minifigures. From the Lego Nightmare Before Christmas set, this right here is the Sally minifigure. And I gotta be honest with you guys, this is one of the most detailed printings I've ever seen on a minifigure. I love all the little line work, the layering of the fabrics and colors, especially on the side of the legs there and the front of the toes and the belt area, the detailing and all the little stitching lines. I love the dual molded arms with different color sleeves and two different facial expressions. This is a really stellar 10 out of 10 detailed minifigure. From the Lego Nightmare Before Christmas set, this is the instantly recognizable Jack Skellington. Very cool custom molded tie piece there for the figure, and I do enjoy the detailing in the pinstriping on the front and rear of the torso. Has those long legs like Woody and the Avatar characters. Very cool. This right here is one of the most impressive custom molded elements I've ever seen from Lego. This is Zero the Ghost Dog from The Nightmare Before Christmas. And the way he looks like he's in motion as if he's floating forward, how they've sculpted that is really impressive. The coloring and how it pops against the white. I love this guy right here. Technically a brick built mini here from the Lego Nightmare Before Christmas set. This is the mayor. It does look a little bit off, but the scaling is right against the other figures. And I really think the print details on this make the figure. This is cool. The mayor from the Nightmare Before Christmas. Another of Oogie Boogie's minions here. We have Locke from the Lego Nightmare Before Christmas set. Again, no detailing on 
this torso, no printing at all, like the shock minifigure, but I do enjoy both of the different facial expressions on this minifigure. I like the short legs. These are some pretty cool little minions of Oogie Boogie. I wish they could have found a way to make an Oogie Boogie for the set that made sense. I'd like to think that they tried and didn't come across a result that they liked enough to ship with the set. This minifigure right here is Shock of Lock Shock and Barrel fame from Disney's and Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. This Lego set just came out this September and I had to pick it up immediately. Was thrilled to get my hands on it. Some very cool minifigures in this one. Two different facial prints on this minifigure for Shock, which is pretty sweet. No detailing on the printing at all, but I do love the dual molded hat and hair piece with the little wrinkles in it. A really cool little minifigure here with Nightmare Before Christmas. With the Lego Nightmare Before Christmas set, we got all three of Lock, Shock, and here we have Barrel, the only of the three minions to get his own torso printing here, as opposed to just being plain sand blue. But like the other two minifigures, also have a couple different facial expressions here. This is also a classic green hair piece, similar to what you see on some of the Joker minifigures. All in all, nice to have all three of these included with the set, even if the detailing is a little lackluster. Here we have Sandy Claus from the Nightmare Before Christmas set. I love the candy cane element there. There are two different facial expressions on this minifig, but it's a bit superfluous as the beard covers up the majority of that mouth expression anyhow. And I do like the lollipop here beneath the belt on the rear of the figure. Very cool print element detail there.